Good morning. I'm Peter Bartnick, a board-certified civil trial attorney uh, practicing law here in Connecticut, and I'm uh, making today's video to explain what the term wrongful discharge means. Um, and I make the video because many people have a misconception on, number one, what circumstances must exist before they can sue their employer, and number two, what the term wrongful discharge means. Most people apply their common sense to the term wrongful discharge, and in they believe that a discharge that's wrongful probably means you can sue your employer. It's, it's really not the case because there are many discharges that are completely wrongful and unfair that don't allow a lawsuit against your employer. So first, generally when we evaluate whether you have a claim against your employer, we're looking for a violation of a particular statute that gives you a cause of action to sue your employer. One example of, of that might be Title VII of the Civil Rights, Civil Rights Act, which says you cannot, the employer cannot fire the employee on the basis of gender, let's say, or race or religion or national origin. Um, but generally, a claim against your employer is going to be based on a statute or it's going to be based on a, a contract. Now, circumstances where you can sue your employer without a statute that specifically says you can sue your employer or a contract right that might apply would be a claim for wrongful discharge. So let me explain now what a claim for wrongful discharge means as that term is used. The, the, the term wrongful discharge really applies to a specific type of situation where your firing has occurred in violation of some sort of public policy where it's contrary to public policy and there's no other remedy. So the elements of a wrongful discharge claim in Connecticut includes a firing in violation of a contrary to a public policy. Um, and the public policy must be clearly established by other rules or statutes. Um, so a firing contrary to public policy when there's no other remedy for that employee. So if you've got a firing where the employee has a remedy in the in a statute, then that, that's a claim that would be brought under that particular statute. That would not be a wrongful discharge claim as that term used. Because a wrongful discharge claim, as that term is used, only exists when the when the firing occurs in violation of public policy and there's no other remedy.